What's going on with the guys? It's y'all's boy you see at Jaguar reporting with GenJag.com and Jaguar's mandatory mini camp wrapped up today. It was a three day practice session where they did OTA type work except it was a little bit more extended than that but um, Jaguars will be off basically have the whole this whole like summer off until July 26th where they report back to camp so um, that will conclude the 13 days of off-season activities so I'm gonna recap what happened in the last three days for y'all and then we really talk about some things going forward wait don't get the intro yet So I guess the first thing I'll go ahead and talk about is the fact that Brandon Albert uh, pretty much ended his little mini holdout he was having, if you want to call it that. But um, when it all comes down to it, when he basically reflects on it, he's just saying that he's, uh, you know, he's been playing in the league for over 10 years. He was kind of taking the time to uh, rest a little bit and, like, let his whatever kind of injury he has heals. But he says that he's in, he's like, his body's feeling the best it's been uh in the last like several years so um that's obviously pretty good news and other than that with him he admitted that uh he wasn't in football shape yet and also Doug Brown did the same um he was taking rest with the third team but uh both of them you know Albert and Marone expected it to be like that just because they haven't been with the team practicing with the team doing uh team-based activities so he's not going to be as in shape as a team I mean as we all know uh, when you do your own kind of workouts at home and stuff like that, uh, it you tend to get used to that workout. But when you take that to a whole new atmosphere, it's just totally different. But um, he's been playing the league for a while, and he's even he's played in Miami before, so he knows uh, every the deal with the heat and everything. So um, I expect him to definitely come into uh, camp or training camp much more in shape. Also, Blake Bortles spoke to the media for. Um, the last time until training camp starts and he's doing something differently this year. He's announced that he's going to be going to California during this whole uh, summer break to just keep on working with his mechanics. And with that to me is, I mean, Bortles has admitted that he does need to be like kept up with himself like mechanic wise. So, um, I really think that he's just exhausting every option he can to really like maximize his play going into this year. And I really think it's not even necessarily that it's throw like I'm not as worried about the ball like coming down looping as much as I am about his footwork because when Blake Bortles' footwork is good, it just makes him a whole lot better. So um, going out and just keep working on that and keep working on that, you know, more extensively throughout practice like they did his last two games of the season. Um, I think just being able to do that and being able to have people hard on coaching on him, just being able to keep uh, the mechanics tight will – hopefully help us out this year when you know the live bullets are starting to fly but while this concludes the offseason training for um the veterans the rookies are actually going to be in jacksonville for another two weeks and they're basically going to be working on stuff like you know getting them in shape making them stronger they're going to do some like community type events around jacksonville and also doug brown hinted on that he they wanted them to just get acclimated to the heat they really haven't, I mean, I'm not in Jacksonville, I'm over in Orlando, but, you know, I hear the weather's been pretty bad, like, rainy up there the last, you know, few weeks, so they really haven't had that tough, like, Florida humidity with plus the heat practice yet, so um, they're probably going to really be hoping for one of those days in the next couple of weeks just to get them a real feel for what it's like to be out in Jacksonville during, like, during the dead heat of the summer. Other than that, guys, not really too much else to report. Um, you know, these this mandatory mini cam is basically the same thing as OTAs, except the practices are a little bit longer and they're also mandatory. You know, your subjective fines. But um, the position coaches and the coordinators did speak to the media today. But I'm gonna kind of wait to trinkle them into some of the uh, position like reviews I make in the future. So um, I'm kind of kind of wait to you know, really diagnose what they say till then. But um, other than that, thanks for watching my video. Shout out to my big sister Katie for the sweet DU Jaguar jersey. 
Z Love for Life. Also, shout out to Maddie. She watches my videos too. And also, shout out to Mikey Mack and Jamie Paget. They're getting married soon. So, you know, you know, first comes love, then comes marriage. And next thing you know, you're going to have some little like Jaguar Cubs soon. And Jaguar Cubs are cute as hell. And if you don't think they're cute, then you can get the hell off my planet. <laughs> but yeah, um, other than that, that's all I got. Shell's boy, you see a Jaguar report with ginjag.com. And I'm out. Conclusion of activities. Man, the first damn pass is going to be crazy. You're going to be fired up now. Hell yes.